it's Sarah. Okay, so this is my giant lattice box off the side of my house. That's my bedroom door, but I don't want them to go out that, so they don't. Um, they go out through a little cat door. I'll show you. I actually have a combo lock on it, so nobody could ever hurt them. Um, and I'll show you how it works. So I can go in through here. Um, this is their cat structure. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Two out of the three are out here. Hey, Ella. Hi. I know. You want to show my friend? So I just installed this cat door right through to my house. That's my bedroom right there. Hi, Boo Boo. You want to show her how it works? Um, and then this little dog house with their cat litter box inside. So I don't have to keep it yet. You know, it's nice to have it outside. Hi, Betsy. You want to say hi? Oh, don't be skittish. They're really skittish. So they would get killed quickly if they were outside. Um, they have all these jumps and ramps and things to play on. And they even have a hammock, which they love. They're always asleep in the hammock. Um, I put waterproof top on it, you know, but, um, you don't have to. I mean, it could be literally like two feet from your house and have shelves and they'd love it. It doesn't have to be this giant enclosure. I just happen to have a really big yard. So I was able to do that. What a lot of people do is they'll go right off their bedroom window. Like this part I have closed off. You know, it's the fence between my house and the next person's house. You could just do this little section right here, a little three by three type area. Um, any little section will do. Mine are just extra spoiled. And um, it's pretty cheap. You know, you just go get some lattice and you can build it in a day or two. Make sure you have an entrance so that if God forbid there's a fire or whatever, you can get your cats out because they'll go out here for sure. All right, so that's how it works. Just a big lattice box on my yard.